Go with slow shadow on the mic. I play to win, never to lose. In the contest of champions, I'm the one that shoes. Swipe straight oh, down, I'm losing slick. Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick. Class champ, I'm the master of the game. Cosmic science, skill tech, mutant, I claim. Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. The fight, I'm swift. My tactics excite. Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world. Marvel, I'm the King Crown, so listen up. Here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. Now, I got three champions that I'm gonna take up for you guys today. One is a six star going to rank five, another one is a seven star going to rank two. And the last one is a seven star going to rank three. Yes, a rank three already. So thanks to the Spring of Sorrows and all of those T4 alpha fragments, I was able to get enough to take up another champion to rank uh, three. I have only done one path in the Necropolis. So if I can fully explore that, then I will be able to take up another champion to rank three. But for now, I'm going to try to focus more on taking champions to rank two as seven stars, unless, as you'll see, I have a gem that I can use. All right. So if you think you can guess what champions I'm going to take up, what six star do you think I would take up to rank five right now? with the gem and what seven star do you think i'm going to take to rank two and rank three so we're about to reveal it in five four three two one. First one ant-man future so ant-man future is still a very annoying defender he is not difficult to beat when you have the right um, counter and when you know how to deal with him. But in Battlegrounds especially, he can still be a problem. Even though I know how to fight him and, and all that, I can still have issues dealing with him. Not only that, but while you don't see it very often, he's also a very good attacker. He's actually really good. Um, it's just that most of the time we're going to use him on defense because he's such a annoying defender. Okay. Now, I got that rank up gem and I was debating between future Ant-Man and I also could have taken up Terax. Now, one of the reasons that I decided not to take Terax up is because I think he's good right now for what I need him for at rank four. And I believe I did ascend him. So he's doing okay. If you notice, I did take uh, Ant-Man Future and ascend him even at rank four. Always plan to take him to rank five. I just had other champs that, you know, got priority over him. That's all. Okay. Um, but I wanted him at rank five so badly. And when I saw that he met the criteria for that uh, arcade uh, rank up gem, it was a wrap. I said, definitely. Okay. So that's why uh, I decided to take up Ant-Man future to rank five, have the gem. And another reason He's not available as a seven star yet. Okay. Now for the next one, this one's going to be a seven star to rank two. And that one is going to be Shuri, little cutie. So when Shuri first came out, she was not really that good. And every time people asked me, well, what about Shuri? Is she good? My answer was, well, she's cute. 
And that should tell them all they needed to know. Then Kabam looked and said, hmm, her cuteness is not going to be enough. So they buffed her a bit. Now, I don't remember what her kit was before because I never did a, a in-depth uh, look into her kit, but she got buffed and she's real good now. Now, I was wondering what made her so good. I saw videos and I was like, hmm, still hadn't looked into her kit, still didn't know quite how to use her, but I took my six star to rank five and uh, ascended her. Because I was like, I'm probably not going to get a Shuri. Summer sales hit, and I got a Shuri. Now, she's not awakened. Her awakened ability does give her one thing that I really like. And that is the ability to block unblockable special attacks. And she also has one that makes her more tanky. I think she gets more of a perfect block chance or something like that per uh, armor up or something like that. Uh, for some reason, they always seem to call right when I'm making a video. But anyway, um, so I don't know if I want to take her to rank three just yet while she's not awakened because I have the six star already ranked five, you know, SIG 200, I believe. So I do want her to be in a position to take to rank three when I finally can get uh, her awakened. Now, I used her against Atuma. And I was like, she doesn't seem to be all that great against Atuma. People were like, oh, no, she's made to counter Atuma. I said, okay, so what am I doing wrong? I found out what I was doing wrong. So I'm going to make a video talking more about her. But one of the things that I didn't get was that her special one attack is not for damage. It's to give her those precision buffs or whatever so that then she can crit like crazy. She gets guaranteed crits when that is up. I found that also out the hard way when I went up against an Ebony Maw. Those are guaranteed crits. Okay. So she's great if you don't want somebody that can crit. And she's great when you don't mind, you can fire your special one, and now you're a crit monster. And against the Tuma, anytime she puts shocks on him, she basically reduces his hydration so he's not going to go unstoppable. But you have to manage that. You have to make sure you're getting those shocks to, um, you know, debuff him with. Now, one thing that I had to learn, just a little bit of a different uh, style, is that you want to get, you want to parry, and you want to get hit into your block so that you can build up your charges and get the um, shocks on them, okay? But I'm looking forward to using her more often, uh, especially now that I have her at rank two, uh, I definitely want to use her and uh, start getting used to using her against uh, various opponents because she's good against a lot of people. All right. Now, for the final, final one, it's my newest rank three. Now, if you guys went and saw the poll, I had four champions on that poll. Okay. I had Guardian. I had Hulk. I had um, uh, Wolverine Weapon X, and I had Shuri. And I saw what the scores were, and I went with Hulk for that poll. This rank three is one of the other three. So it's either Shuri, it's either Weapon X, or it's either Guardian. Guardian is SIG 40, okay? So those are your hints, okay? Now, we're about to reveal it. And it is Weapon X. 
Now, the reason that I chose Weapon X, even though he got the lowest score on the poll, right now, there's a couple of reasons, but right now, Weapon X is ultra rare. Okay? And so, may as well take him to rank three. He is still a very annoying defender. Unless you have a, a good counter against him, or you know how to play around him. Okay? But he still can be very, very bad to fight against. Okay? Um, but the other reason is a very simple one. I like Wolverine. Why do you think I did all that I could to get him? Because I like Wolverine. And if I went through all that to get a Wolverine Weapon X, you think I'm not going to take him to rank three? Got to. Got to. Okay. Now, Guardian would have been a very good option. Okay. Definitely. Uh, in fact, I don't believe I have a uh, tech champion at rank three yet. First of all, Guardian is very good even at rank two. So he may be my next rank three. We'll see. Um, but for now, I had to go with my boy Wolverine. I had to. And we don't know who the next rank three is going to be yet. I might uh, dupe Shuri a bunch of times. And then I'll take her. Or I might dupe... Um, Actually, I said Shuri. Yeah, it was Photon. Um, I might dupe Photon a bunch of times and take her to rank three. Who knows? Okay. Um, but for now, these are my rank ups. And Wolverine does not need to be awakened. So, you know, uh, Wolverine, his awakened ability is good on offense. It helps him on his offense, but that's it, really. And most of the time, I'll probably end up using him on defense, except for the event quest, where I'll, you know, make him a, um, may, I might put Odin, Deba, uh, Odin buffs on him, pre-fights on him, put um, Apocalypse, uh, make him a horseman, and then just let him loose and see what he can do. Now, it's going to be a while before I awaken him, but that's why I made sure it was someone who didn't need to be awakened because chances are he's not going to get awakened anytime real soon. Okay? Anyway, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. What do you think about my choices? All right? Uh, would you have chosen the same way if you had these same options? Let me know. All right, take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.